Hello friends, today's little sewing vlog is going to be this dress. It is very self-drafted, lots of mistakes with the bodice along the way, but I am very confident in your ability to do the circle skirt pattern. There are tons and tons of circle skirt patterns, calculators, videos, all over the internet, so I trust that you will be able to find one that works best for you and hopefully you'll have a little bit better luck trying to figure the bodice part out on your own. Let's get to it! Okay, so this it's 60 inches this way. I feel like conceivably, potentially, I could fold it in half, fold it another half and just mark and cut a quarter circle and cut through all four layers at the same time. We're all in agreement that that has the potential to have a great deal of user error, right? But it would also only lead to one seam that we would need to zipper up. But then no place to put the pockets. Then I could have external pockets. I don't think I want external pockets. Or I could just cut pocket slits like I did with the uh, green plaid dress. And now I'm overthinking things. I have successfully made a circle. As you can see, there is no waste hole cut out of the circle. What you got there? Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, no, no. No coffee for puppers. You would get too excited. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. We're moving on. The easy sew pattern that I did a video about before that just didn't fit me at all. I got that back out because my modified bodice pattern just does not have the correct shoulders that I want. So with a combination of the easy sew pattern, the modified bodice pattern, and lining them up at all the little triangle marks, we got some sort of thing type pattern-ish. I want the bodice to be triangles that overlap. So I'm gonna curve that down and in the back, I want to be triangles that don't touch at all. And it's just gonna go straight to the zipper and it'll be great. Usually I am very against the open back, uh, but in this case, since this is a wool dress, it's going to be meant to be worn in the fall, in the winter. It's always gonna have a shirt or a sweater under it. Also, I'm aware that I'm an idiot because I can't tell which side is the right side or wrong side. I have a piece of paper that says right on it and I'm pinning that to the right side. I also have a marker that says wrong that I'm pinning to the wrong side of the fabric in all my cutouts. We're in the sewing room now. A dramatic reenactment of what just happened was me sitting there, marking, measuring, etc., and my brain says panic. Brain, there is no reason to panic. There is nothing going on. Panic. Brain, you know that it is measure twice, cut once, we are in the middle of measuring. Panic. Brain, if we decide to panic, then we will lose focus and make mistakes. Panic. So for no particular reason, my brain went into fight or flight mode and I'm 99% sure that I made some mistakes. So we're going to sew together the bodice and do a try on to see if slash how this will fit. Hopefully we're still good. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is cute, right? This, this works. Probably going to need to take it in at the tops of the armpits. Yeah, I can almost make that a French seam. It, it's just so much ex excess fabric right there. And I don't think that, like with the way that this is shaped, I don't necessarily think that I'm actually going to need to put darts in the front. There's an excess of fabric right there and I have some safety pins and whatnot marking where the approximate center is so that I can just taper down to there. So brain, you did not need to panic. Everything is fine, just calm down. Okay, so I recorded like an entire explanation without the sound on because I'm a genius. I lined up the two back pieces according to how they were cut, went ahead and marked a line down, just kind of drew a new line where I think that where I'm gonna cut everything. I am a little bit suspicious that my just panic mode uh, was 
my brain telling me that I haven't had lunch yet. It's about 2 o'clock, 2.30, and I haven't eaten yet today. So I think that my brain, to try to alert me to, hey, you need to eat something, just decided to go full alert. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this line out and then maybe have some leftover pizza or something. So I've decided that I need a mental health break from the bodice and I'm going to actually work on the circle for a little bit. I have already cut out some pockety bits from scrap and um, measured out a bunch of waistband stuff. But back to everybody's favorite subject, math. Went back to the middle point and I have a 25 inch waist. That would make the radius of my waist approximately three and three fourths inches, but I'm gonna go ahead and mark out three and a half. I changed my mind, I'm gonna do four. With the way that the stripes are, I think I either want this to be the front or this to be the front. I'm probably gonna make an arbitrary random decision for that. How long are you gonna have to be cut down to? So this is gonna be where the pocket is. I think I'm gonna install the pockets and then I'm going to install the waistband at the front so I can try it on without all these needles. I'm going to install the zipper, bringing up to the finale of installing the waistband part to the back, then the bodice to the waistband part, and letting it hang. Do I need to let it hang for a full week? Well, as I suspected, so it shall be. I had my mid-weight needle on and it definitely snapped. So now I have my heavyweight needle on. It's not a very heavy wool. I was just trying to be very careful, but failing to be very careful about having a lot of bulk in a seam. But I did manage to install the zipper. And right now I am working on zigzag stitching the top. I have a random French seam. I got this, I got some pinked seams. I have some seams that are just salvage. There is no consistency here, um, but I'm gonna finish pink, uh, zigzagging the armholes and then I'm gonna turn that in and going to try on everything again. Hopefully I'm not going to have to take my sweater off again because my hair can't handle it. I need a break, I need a break, I need a break, I need a break, I need a break. What is going on here? Okay, oh, okay. So this is the side that is supposed to have the button and that's the side that's supposed to have the button hole. Okay, I get you now. I really hope I'm not pinning myself. Ow! I don't know why I'm pinning. Okay, well that would be approximately how it would be when we have the button on there. As it current stands though, I am lit tired and I've been crouching on the floor and whatnot, uh, being relatively frustrated. So I'm gonna call it a day right here because I need to get this on a hanger and let it hang for an excruciating amount of time so that I can um, level hem it when the time comes. So hopefully get back to this in a few days. So hopefully I can get done with it by Christmas. Why did I want this done by Christmas? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe because it's a plaid wool dress and I don't know, it feels Christmassy to me, but why did I wait until less than a week until Christmas to start this project? Eh. Hello friends, welcome to my bathroom again. It is Christmas, the dress has been hanging for about six days now, so I feel like that's enough time. If I cannot have the dress done by Christmas, I feel like it's probably a close second to have it finished on Christmas. We've already done the whole family Zoom call and present opening, so that is fantastic. Let's, let's just try to enjoy the rest of the day and have fun. So I tried it on just to make sure that the bodice didn't need to be altered in any way, and I feel like this fits even better than it did earlier. And just looking at the hem, I don't think that that changed much at all either. Like, I mean, I'm obviously gonna check with the tape measure, but I don't think that this looks like there were any um, issues with bias stretch at all. Yeah, so it looks like the variance is a maximum of half an inch, which could also 100% be human error. And I feel like that's close enough to say, let's just go ahead and put bias tape on it. Future Ed would also like to point out that the reason why we are doing the bias tape on the hem instead of any other hemming method 
was because B from the Closet Historian said that this was probably the easiest way to hem a circle skirt and all hail B, we trust her. Okay, so bias tape time. I did originally want to get uh, bias tape that kind of matched this color, the color of the zipper, be all burgundy and pretty like that. What I have is this uh, because this was the only bias tape that I could find that they had 16 feet in stock. Why do we need 16 feet of bias tape? If you recall, when we originally cut out the circle skirt for the circle skirt, uh, the radius was 30 inches. Hey Google, what is the circumference of a circle with the radius of 30 inches? Uh, 15 and a half and some change feet. So if you know the circumference of the total circle that you did cut out for your circle skirt, that is how much bias tape you're going to need. Abby Cox, my sincerest apologies. I cannot get this thimble to work. I'm trying. The only thimble that I could find to fit my middle finger was this silicone one. It's just not working. I, I don't know why. It's just not working. And stitch down all the bias tape. Oh, now I need to figure out where I put my buttonhole. But and now I'm considering, oh shit, I need to figure out which button I want to do first. Hey, significant other. Which button do you like better, this one or this one with this? Bottom. Is this the bottom? <laughs> or is... The world will never know. Because uh, this one is technically one. closer to you, but this is the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I got you. I consider I the brown one to be top, so not brown. Yeah. You like this one? I think that the brown one is awkward as far as its coloring goes. Okay. And we're both in agreement that this is just like too orange, right? That one, I think, could work. It works better than brown. Yeah. It depends on the look you're going for. This one, I can mm -hmm. see this working because it kind of gives it more of an old timey feel. Okay. This one is more in line with like not being very obvious. It's letting the fabric itself speak. This becomes a part of the piece if it's there. I think that's one of the key differences. Mm -hmm. Are you wanting to come with a puck? Oh. Yes, I'm definitely wanting to come with a puck. What about that guy? Okay, I'm gonna retract what I had said. This one is more in line with just making the the fabric itself stand out than this is. Okay, like, so we're liking blends. this gold guy. If you want something that is low key and that does not stand out, like drawing an attention to it, that one. Cause I kind of like this with the pattern. Yeah. And just verifying, no. Black would be generic. No. Uh, it it it's just too it's much bad. of a contrast. It's not, yeah. Yeah. It's but better than the brown. Feeling like we like left field here. <laughs> if you're focusing on the fabric, yes, I would say so. Like this becomes a a statement that this shirt, this fabric is making. The more I'm looking at this button, the more I think that I picked it off the ground somewhere <laughs> and just took it home like a goblin. Okay, so this is the final product. Uh, I feel like the bias taping, it almost looks piped at the bottom because it wants to keep like a bubbly structure. I do have a crinoline on under here to kind of give it a little bit of volume and support that structure, but it does kind of want to have a structure on its own. So that was not something that I was expected. I'm pretty pleased about it. As usual, very deep pockets. And I feel like I want to probably make a pattern based off of the bodice so that I can use it for further projects. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to list them down below. New videos should be out on Tuesdays and Fridays, sometimes one though, so if I were you, I would like this video. Hit subscribe and that little bell icon so you know when I actually do post. As usual, stay happy, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. Bye! I bought some more heavyweight fabric that I think I'm going to make into another winter circle skirt. This is just, I, I feel like this was a fun project. <laughs> it's a circle skirt, so it's going to have a curlability factor. <sighs>